Hey guys, uh, I kind of want to come on here and talk about something really quick. Two times in the past couple of weeks, Danielle has returned and I haven't talked about it. I've been gone for a few reasons. I had some issues with YouTube for about a week and then also for another week, I had some personal stuff going on. So I was gone for two weeks. But anyway, in my last video, Daniel went missing. Then he returned and then he disappeared again and he returned again literally just returned today as recording this video i didn't mean to basically be gone for this long and also my plan wasn't to just come back once daniel returned and start posting videos again i just have been pretty busy sorry for no videos in the past couple weeks but i am back and i already have other projects that i want to work on in the meantime while working on these daniel videos and the other drama videos that i have but yes i am actually back thank you all for 3,000 subscribers that happened while i was gone i think that's incredible like it's really insane i really do thank you all for that but yeah i just kind of want to explain that and also in some of this video i'm talking like daniel is still gone so that kind of explains like why I'm making comments like he's still gone. But yeah, with all that said, enjoy the video. Thank you all for the support and everything. Intro. Today, I'm going to be talking about Daniel Larson. If you don't know who Daniel Larson is, it is very important you watch my video, The Never-Ending Story of Daniel Larson, as it will help you understand who he is and what all he has done. To understand what's going on now and to have full context, you'll need to watch the other episodes of the series. Those episodes are in a playlist on my channel, it's very easy to find. These episodes are weekly recaps on what Daniel Larson has been up to. I also do videos on other topics like news and drama that's going on on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you all for the support. Thank you all for 3,000 subscribers. But with all that said, enjoy. Daniel Larson Returns Daniel Larson was gone for a few days. Between now and my last video, someone has spotted him, and they made a post saying they spotted him getting kicked off the bus for not paying for the bus, and they had a picture or video of him, and the pictures that I saw were very blurry, but they did look just like him with the same outfit that he wears everywhere. Somehow he got a haircut, and he's in his skinhead era. But he returned a few days later after being spotted, sadly. He says he was gone because someone stole his phone and jumped him. He sort of mentions me, but not by name, but references my videos. Here's the story from him. Hello everyone, um, my name is Daniel Larson. If anyone is wondering what happened to me the last couple of days, um, there's been a bunch of videos that came out on YouTube about Daniel Larson went missing. There was also a couple um, other things that happened. There was the Daniel Larson subreddit um, got taken down or put into um, the mods or whatever is doing something with it. Who knows? I don't care about that. Um, what really actually happened was a couple days ago, last week, I got attacked. I, um, somebody walked up behind me, um, and, um, I was inside a casino. They offered to buy me some food, which they ended up doing. And shortly later, um, when they were offering to buy me a motel room at one of the casinos, as we were walking to the casino, um, one of the guys came up behind me, punched me, threw me on the ground, and then basically took my phone and ran off running um, with me on the ground uh, with my head um, basically smashed into the ground. Um, I did end up going to the emergency room. I did find out I did have a small... A fracture in my skull which will take up to six months to fully heal um, and I did end up contacting the authorities and I did uh, press charges on both of the people that were there um, one of them was a person in longer hair um, African-American person not to be racist or anything like that but um, was kind of taller African-American with dreadlocks. Um, there was one person with that that um, 
seemed pretty confused or was manipulated into taking the phone. And then there was a small Hispanic um, person, a small Hispanic um, person, male, that was um, what I think to be the attacker that took the phone. Um, they did buy me food, um, which is kind of weird um, for an attack, but whatever. And they did also um, get me some clothing as well before the attack happened. But that is why I was off social media for about a week. One thing is, I don't think he was actually beat at all. There's zero marks on him, and I don't think he's going to successfully get charges on these people. He doesn't even know who these people are and gives the most vague description of people ever. There's plenty of black guys with dreadlocks and plenty of Hispanics out there. During these videos, you can tell he's on his meds. The hospital probably saw everything he's diagnosed with and gave him some during his visit. He seems a bit calmer and not as crazy as well in those videos, but that won't last long as Daniel never takes his meds and from what it looks like, he's back to his old self again. I just saw a video and you can see in his eyes and his pupils that he is geeked. Them doctors set him up on some good stuff. I wonder if he'll ever get addicted to anything. This is kind of just off topic, but I've always wondered if Daniel would ever take something off the street and get addicted to it somehow. Daniel says he did go to the hospital, which evens out everything as it looks like he's on a strong dose of meds, like he probably just got fresh out the hospital. And as well, there was a story that he was seen going into an ambulance after an early part of the day from on the Las Vegas Strip. He also says in these videos coming back that he got food stamps and housing, but that's clearly wrong as I looked it up and it takes up to 30 business days to get food stamps in Nevada. And I also don't know who or why anyone would give him food stamps, and I'm pretty sure it would take a while to get him housing. And the housing part is a clear lie, as you can see him in all of his videos and live streams, never in a house, but always just wandering mindlessly around the streets. At that time, he was only there for about two to three weeks. Another thing that's been going on since his return is that Daniel wants to go to New York, or has been talking about it and has also been talking about Grace Vanderwall a bit more recently. I'm going to refrain from putting her name in a segment, so I just wanted to add it here. If there's a segment in a future episode, if there is any future episodes, and it's like related to her or anything, I'll name it something else for now on. I just don't think it's right to put her name on all this. He claims the person that jumped him, the black man with dreadlocks, is Grace Vanderwall's supposed new boyfriend. I guess he's saying they all look the same. Also in my last video, I talked about how the Reddit was privated and you had to get permission to get into it from an admin. After I was done recording and editing and rendering my last video, I got permission from one of the Reddit mods to be in the Reddit, but then not long after the Reddit was back open as Daniel came back, since they said they were opening it whenever he returned. He also went back to being bald and I don't know how he got the haircut, unless he got a haircut and then ditched before paying which is possible as he dine and dashes a lot, and I also don't know how he got his phone unless police actually tracked it down. Someone asked him how he got his phone and he said he didn't feel like answering that question, and that's very odd. Someone claims to be the guy who stole his phone on Reddit. To be honest, I'm not going to show his face. The picture quality is pretty good, so I don't think it's actually his phone, and it could be a friend of the person behind the account. It was a black eye with dreads though. He also made a new TikTok and YouTube channel. He put in his new YouTube channel bio, and I quote, Okay, so now Grace is saying she wants to move forward with the relationship, but I need to see her in New York City, and it will cost a lot to go over there, so if everyone can donate to my cash app, that would be great, so I can actually go to New York and see the love of my life for 2023. One of my biggest questions for the end of this segment is, how did Daniel get his haircut and how did he get a new phone? Did the police somehow track it down and actually give it back to him, or... Did he just get a new one? I'm very curious as to how he did that, and I'm very curious as to how he got his haircut. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Daniel Age of Consent Rant Daniel on his new YouTube channel posted a 30 minute video ranting about the Age of Consent and talking about how he isn't a pedo, despite him admitting he is one while he was in LA. There's a section in one of the past episodes where he admits to talking about it while he was still in LA. He talked about it in a TikTok Live and then as well as two other TikToks. And after all that was posted, he ended up getting banned on those accounts. 
but the footage from those is still on my channel. Shout out to moderator DLR EMT for shortening the 30 minute rant into 6 minutes. Here is that video. You know everybody in the reddit is gonna literally when they see this video going to literally say oh here he goes rambling on again. <sighs> this is the real life I guess of what being a fucking homeless person is like. I asked him if he can pay for like a month or two months of housing. In the meantime, while I get things set up. And he also said we just don't have enough. I found housing for literally $3,000 in two months. And Bob says that that is expensive. I make most of my income with people spotting me in public. I'm also very, very extremely disgusted with my public image, and most of it is not even true. So, I mean, that's creating a bunch of fan. I want to go to college, but I looked at the degree I want, and I probably wouldn't even graduate until I'm like 30 or 35. This also really pisses me off that people want to say that, like, I'm a pedophile and shit like that, like, stuff like that, because I'm not. Believe it or not, I, I don't even really, like, I don't know how to say this, but, yes, I like sex. Don't get me wrong, okay? Everyone does. But... I will only do it with certain people. And that certain people being, I have to love them. Okay? Grace is like literally the only person that I have found. All the pedophile rumors and stuff, they're not true. I've never in my life had sex with a child or anybody underage. And I would never do that. Me and my family, like me and my mentor Bob, I thought, I think that Bob never thought that I would grow up. I know I've said stuff about age of consent. I mean, do I feel like age of consent should be 18? Yes. But I feel like it should also be 15. 18 year old who graduates high school that's still dating somebody that is in a freshman. You know what I mean? That's not fair for the freshman. Like that, basically, me making that video ruined my life. That one video. Everything is everything is just like messed up. This is how like honest and how I normally am to some degree. Like I'm very smart. Like I said, you know, with me being this smart and with me being able to talk like this, I mean, like, really, you guys seen some of my other videos. I am, like, actually good when it comes to certain things. I'm good at sports. I'm good at singing. Yeah, I know my singing can actually have a little bit more work, but still, I'm good. I'm talented. I told him that if I, if this goes on another couple days with me not getting housing or me not like actually getting in contact with the real Vanderwalls, I told him that I will probably end my career and I would probably go and break windows at a business to end up in jail. I think a lawyer would understand. If that's what it takes, like I've said, I can, I can go mega viral said that before. 
I said I, I said that if I needed to, I can make this go extremely, extremely, extremely viral, and it would be on the news. But like I said, I don't want that type of Im image. That is like last, like last option, because it would probably end up with somebody getting angry. I'm not that type of person. I'm not a criminal. I'm sorry, guys, for everything. I'm sorry for, to the Vanderwalls for everything. And I'm going to say this again. None of this would have happened if you guys... Well, first of all, the trolls stopped messing, playing games. Messing around, playing games. And if the Vanderwall team or the Vanderwall family would have reached out. Also, I don't even know if Grace is even a troll herself. Am I scared for my life because I'm homeless? Yes. Am I scared for my career? Yes. How would there be a wedding if we haven't actually met in public? Try to explain that to me. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. Daniel kicked out a bar, Dave and Buster's, and shopping center. Daniel posts a TikTok and also talks on his YouTube community tab about him getting kicked out of a bar or restaurant. It looks like he fell asleep in the bathroom and got kicked out afterwards, as he said he came back from using the bathroom for a few minutes. He posts a couple TikToks at the bar recording other people, and I think someone's calling the police on him in the background, as you can see. He tries to tell an awful story of what happened. It sounds really made up, and he also does the math wrong in that TikTok. So I literally just got here at 6. So I literally just got here at 6.30. <clears throat> and they're saying that they weren't open when they were. And their website says 24 hours. So they're lying to try to get me kicked out. It's now 7.16 and they still haven't been served. They're just clearly ignoring me. Clearly, clearly ignoring me. They're trying to kick me out, saying that I am not allowed to be here when they're open, and I can be here. And I just got here at 6.30 this morning. And just because the bartender didn't see me walk in, they're trying to kick me out. I was here last night and I left at around uh, 10, 10 p.m. and I came back this morning. Okay, so I've now been waiting a full hour. I got here at 6.30, got out of the restroom at 6.39. So I was in there 10 minutes. And then I came out here, they were on the phone with the police asking me to leave. I'm like, why? And they said, we don't know. Um, basically lying to me. And then I sat over here and they've been ignoring me since. The two people on the left have been following me around the past couple days as well. He's talked on his YouTube community tab about him beefing with a few places and getting kicked out of them. One of them was a Dave and Buster's and the other was a whole shopping center. He dined and dashed the Dave and Buster's after not being able to pay for a $30 tab, which I think is what got him banned from there and the whole shopping center. I'm not completely sure. I don't know how that area works. All right, so I'm going to need an emergency 30, yeah, $30 to my cash app. Um, to pay this bill. This is an emergency. The Dave and Busters just asked me if I've ever been to jail before and how many times and what for. I told them I don't have to tell them shit. Okay, I just got banned from the entire Summerland shopping complex in Las Vegas because my debit card didn't work when I transferred money to it. This is an emergency, so 
I was just at Dave and Buster's in Las Vegas and there was an issue with my debit card. The security banned me from the entire shopping center. This man is going to look like an actual goblin in a couple of years with how bad he hunches over. He's going to look like that fish boss from Resident Evil Village before he changes. Las Vegas doesn't play around with people like Daniel and I absolutely love it. New York won't either I think if he ever gets there. He was banned from all casinos as well he said. He says on his YouTube community tab and I quote, Apparently because I was trespassing from one casino, I'm trespassed from all of them. Basically, his soft scold way of saying he's banned from them all. To be honest, I could see him being banned from them all due to him messing around in all of them, and there could be a possibility of all these casinos being close together or being able to talk to each other. Maybe the security uh, just says, hey, this guy's banned. If you see him, just kick him out. Daniel versus Bob Whenever Daniel first came back, he said he was in contact with Bob again. I don't know how true that is, and to be honest, I think it's a lie. Daniel ends up getting mad at Bob for not answering the phone and possibly blocking Daniel's number, or Bob changed his. He posted a few TikToks ranting about it and saying some stuff towards Bob, and here are those clips. Because the homeless shelter told me for the ticket to home program for me to get a free bus ticket back to Denver, I have to have family verify that they will pick me up from the bus station. And Bob is the only person. This is fully fucked. This message is for Bob, not contacting the diversion program when they wanted him to, to be able to help with the housing and court stuff. This is a message for Bob, because you sent me to California when I had the warrants, and now I'm stranded. At this point, I will literally destroy me and Bob's friendship and reputation forever to be able to get back in housing. I am now to a point to where I'm furious at Bob for him not helping with my career, even though he's paying to continue with some things, making everything worse. Okay, this is an emergency, but I've lost contact with Bob, and Bob will not answer any of my phone calls. Okay, um, there's an emergency. Uh, Bob just fully blocked my number. I cannot get a hold of him. It says number invalid. Daniel acts like Bob is supposed to help him, even though that just a few weeks ago, Daniel beat him. And also, these threats aren't going to help your case at all for trying to get back in contact with Bob. Daniel's following Daniel has been exposed for following underage girls on TikTok and even YouTube now, but now he is following Dance Mom accounts. If you don't know, Dance Moms is a reality TV drama show where moms who have their kids in dance coach them for competitions. Jojo Siwa is actually really well known for this, and he's talked sexually about her as well, so it kind of connects. But here's the key thing. It is kids dancing. We know why Daniel follows these accounts. Daniel Scabies. Daniel has been talking on his YouTube community tab about him having skin issues as well as bleeding. If you don't know, Daniel has scabies and was bleeding in LA from all the scratching he was doing. You could see in his TikTok lives and stuff he would be scratching his head, and even posted a few videos of him scratching his chest and arms a lot. Daniel will have scabies for a very long time, 
as you have to take medicine, which he doesn't do, and you have to shower and change your clothes, which he doesn't do. It doesn't matter if he gets a new jacket, pants, or whatever, it's in his skin, and he doesn't like showering. As he said to a past moderator, he doesn't like the feeling of being wet, so he doesn't shower often. The scabies is only going to get worse with time. Daniel's new managers? Daniel said that he was done with managers on one of his YouTube channels, but it seems like someone is in his new YouTube channel as he responds to comments and it seems like it's not him responding to them. Some stuff he said is him for sure, but other stuff is kind of iffy. We don't know for sure as he hasn't talked about new managers yet, so it is odd. He has said that he has a cybersecurity assistant, so it's probably that person. There's not a actual person or name behind this person yet, and Daniel hasn't really talked about them a lot. Someone I was talking to said it seemed like Daniel was just posting what he read, whether it was from comments or just someone telling him. Daniel's phone number leaked. Daniel gave his phone number to someone he thought was Grace Vanderwall, then got a bunch of calls after. It was pretty funny as he was going on his YouTube community tab, having a mental breakdown, telling people to stop calling him. This isn't the first time Daniel's number has been leaked, and I just think it's kind of funny. As it's been leaked multiple times before from himself and then also Ox or Ivan. Daniel e begging. Daniel said this in a TikTok comment section, and I quote, If you're not going to donate, get off my page because I don't care about you and I don't want you here. I thought this was a funny comment, so I wanted to add it in here. This person said, Suing them with negative dollars in the bank, but we move with a few fire emojis, and Daniel just replies to the comment saying, Stop. Since we're talking about him e begging, I'll bring up funny money requests people were sending him on Cash App. He also complains on his YouTube community tab whenever he doesn't get donations. He says on his YouTube community tab, I would make a Daniel impression, but I really don't know how to make my voice sound that feminine. He says, we haven't gotten a single donation today, guys. Please send me money. He actually expects people to donate to him just because he simply exists. His last Cash App got hacked, so he made a new one. Whoever hacked his old one changed the name to just the N-word. Not hard R, but whoever hacked it needs to show how much money was on it. I'm very curious if there was really anything. The people that hack it need to actually be useful, because these people never leak any of the information they get whenever they hack him. We should also get Daniel to get Snapchat so he can fall for those Snapchat sugar mama bots. I thought that'd be super funny, and he would definitely fall for it as he thinks it's free money and he would probably just sex them a bunch. But to go on with the Cash App stuff, I don't know if he's ever fallen for these, but here's the requests. Lopsided Mind 3228 posts a screenshot of his request for $25, and the reason for it was for stealing nachos from my restaurant. And I thought that was kind of funny. I wonder if Daniel would freak out if he thought that they actually knew him like that. And then Mod Jordan posts, his screenshot requesting for $20 saying, I'm Grace's real boyfriend and she said you're stinky. This other person requested $2,000 and it said for Bob Proctor's medical bills. Last one here is another $2,000 and the request was for Miss P's window. Which if you don't know, Daniel broke a window in his last housing, basically recorded the workers the whole time as they were doing their job. And got mad whenever they had to board up the window because they didn't because they wouldn't immediately fix it for him. The entitlement was insane. Imagine if he accidentally clicked one of these for $2,000. Daniel Larson bomb threat. On TikTok Live, Daniel makes a bomb threat. He's made some bomb threats in the past, but in this one, he says he left it at a casino while laughing. Then he makes some cringy noises and talks to himself with the voices in his head. They're saying that I would be in a two-week quarantine, which is why I would need help. Me being homeless, it's not going to fix the issue. Yeah, it will temporarily fix the issue, but not permanently. And chances are they're going to come back, but come back worse. Yes, as far as the dynamite, I literally left it at that place. I just left it at the casino. 
the shit's about to go down. <laughs> Gotta love that dynamite. <sighs> Ooh, actually, hold on one second. going on over there. <laughs> Somebody almost got ran over. <laughs> oh, that's swell. Ooh. Oh, by the way, I just got kicked out of that uh, casino, too. They said uh, that I was leaking their phone number. <laughs> Which I wasn't. Everyone is screenshotting this and videotaping it for evidence. Oh, my life. Woo -hoo. I'm on to the next place. And I'll cause a ruckus there. I'm going to continue to do so until I can get this situation heard because it's a bunch of bullshit. For the past six years, I've been fucking controlled. And I'm not going to let that happen again. They fucked up my life and now I have to do what I have to do to be able to get paid. He is going insane. He also says in this TikTok live that he was going to go place to place and cause more trouble so he can get his quote situation heard. He used this same excuse for the whole reason he is a pedophile. As he said, guys, I only acted like this because I wanted my message to get across. I wanted my situation heard, which is a bunch of BS. Also context for some of these clips. Daniel said that he needs dynamite on his YouTube community tab at one point. And that's why he's talking about it in this. Also made some TikToks about it. Here's some clips of those. Okay, folks, get ready for the biggest incident of all of Daniel Larson history so far. Let's do this. <laughs> First of all, dynamite is not the same thing as a bomb threat. And how do we know that the dynamite is not just a child's toy? Freedom of speech. Gotta love it. Maybe I should go into this next casino with a firework. Okay, I'm going to go into a casino with a firework, and then I can see how real firing works. <laughs> Daniel Larson, after this live, got banned, and I'm pretty sure it's due to the bomb threats that he made, as well as some other stuff he probably said on his account. He's made a few accounts since then. These bomb threats, by Nevada law, can get Daniel Larson prison time. Even if it's posted through social media, he can get 1 to 20 years in prison, depending on if they want to call it a terroristic threat or a bomb threat. He can also get up to $5,000 in fines. 
He also made up a threat saying that he was going to break a church window if he got kicked out of the place that he was at, which is absolutely absurd. If you guys trespass me from this place, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the nearest church and break their window. So I want to want to get banned from here. <laughs> Daniel Larson subreddit privated. For whatever reason, someone posted either an actual selfie of themselves or posted someone else's face and acted like the subreddit, since Daniel was gone, should do a whole thing where everyone shows their face and does a face reveal. This ends up getting the kid actually doxxed. I'm not even kidding. From what I've heard, he's been doxxed and people made a subreddit about him from what I've heard. And they also just were making fun of this kid, and there was a bunch of memes on the subreddit about him. I'm not going to show his face, and I'm not going to show any of his information. And from what I've heard, people from the subreddit did go raid other reddits, like how they did before when they went to r slash Las Vegas and stuff, talking about Daniel. But if you're hearing this, the Daniel Larson subreddit is back up. Daniel has returned. After about... Two and a half weeks, Daniel has sadly returned once again. I truly thought he was going to be gone for good, as he is very mentally ill, and if you just look up his name, there's enough on him to keep him in there for good. Somehow, he got out after two and a half weeks. Daniel returned, admitting that he went to a mental hospital. It's not clear how he got into the mental hospital, like if he was arrested and then someone sent him in there, like a police officer after like an evaluation, or if he put himself in, or if someone he knew put him in there. It's not very clear. Supposedly, they knew about his social media in the mental hospital and looked at it. It could easily be a lie, though, from Daniel, as he does lie a lot. But one thing is, is that he does say all the time that he's a celebrity and all that, so they most likely looked up his name. I'll begin, which is most likely a lie, but he came back as soon as I was finishing up this video. So I want to add it here at the end because I didn't want to upload a video saying he's gone as soon as he returned. Not much has happened, it's only been the first day. The only really odd thing that's happened is that he recorded himself walking around the mall, and he looks very paranoid, like someone's like following him or something. This could be just one of his schizophrenic problems. You can also see in these videos his pupils are extremely small. Uh, besides that, he's just been lying a little bit and saying some other nonsense. But that's all I really have for now. It's, he's only been back for a day and hasn't really been in much trouble. Surprisingly. End. Thank you all for watching. If you don't know, at the end of my videos, I like to leave funny stuff and memes that I found on Reddit or elsewhere at the end so we all can get a good laugh. Before we get into the funnies though, let's get into the cringe. I found some cringe stuff and I couldn't find a place to put in the video. So imagine this as the shot and then after you get the chaser. So the shot being the cringe and then the chaser being the actual funny stuff. Leave alone. Yep. All right, this message is for Elon Musk, okay? Now, he owns SpaceX, I think, all right? He makes all these rockets that go up to the moon, Mars, okay? Let's put those to some real good use and start taking over Jamaica. Do you support Donald Trump? Not really, because I could secure the Mexico border in like 25 minutes compared to him. Like, all I have to do is show up down there and get everybody in check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so what's going on? Okay, why do we have only one guy working this? Shit. <laughs> what do you think if I was Gru? I had a bunch of minions. Uh, we got a dollar from Tyler. So far. We got a, di a dollar from Tyler.
That's only a dollar. You know that song, Pocket Full of Sunshine? I got a pocket full of change. 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 Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Enjoy. Hello, Moto. Sir? Yeah. All right, give me a hug. Love you, bro. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. See ya. I support litter boxes in schools because then we want to be pussies. <sighs> okay. So I saw this billboard Snoop Dogg for president. The last thing we need is another president snooping around the White House. Sometimes when you run out of options, you got to do what you got to do. The first one here is from Woodlands underscore Creature saying, Dynamite Dan on his way to liberate Princess Vanderwall from the clutches of Tyrone. Foley C posts he's ready for anything. It's a screenshot of a YouTube community tab post from Daniel saying, why is Grace Vanderwall asking me to buy condoms? Chase Foley says, Because she's going to use it when she pegs you, Daniel. And he responds with true. It's really sad that he likes and then hearts his own comments. Silver11 posts, Sweet dreams, all. Sleep well for another day of Daniel Larson tomorrow. And it's a super funny picture of Daniel just like... I think that... I genuinely think that's real. But I don't know where they found this. Okay underscore Lingenberry underscore 9903 posts Dobby Danderson feeding his spawn in the sewers of Vegas. And people have been talking about this in the comment section. They're like, I bet Daniel's in the underground sewers of Vegas because there's like sewer people in Vegas for whatever reason. Out Galaxy posts whoever gave him his new phone turned off the autocorrect feature. And it's a bunch of examples of Daniel messing up his spelling. I'll show them here. Next one is from Slim J.I. Morrison, and it says Daniel after day factory reset him uh, with a funny picture of SpongeBob. Benson B. Jarnay, or however you say that, posts a comment where it says, Daniel, do you ever hear the voices in your head? And Daniel responds saying yes. And the last one here I wanted to show was one of my own posts. I don't really post on the Daniel Larson subreddit often, but to go on, it says, message to Daniel. I know that Daniel lurks the Reddit, so I want him to know that I'm watching you from the rooftops. I see everything. And I thought it'd be funny because where he's like really paranoid and schizophrenic and all that, I just feel like he's looking at the rooftops. He might be looking outside like, is he there? <laughs> is he there? Is Perk 30 out there? Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Sorry for being gone for so long. I got stuck in an Ice Spice twerk compilation rabbit hole. To be serious, I was just pretty busy in my personal life and YouTube cucked me for a week to say the least. Thank you all for the support. Let me know what y'all's theories are in the comments down below. Do you think that Daniel will be going back to the mental hospital soon? Will he possibly be going to jail for those threats that he made? Because I'm pretty sure anyone can just turn those in and he could be in trouble for them but besides that more videos are coming out this week i'll probably do a poll tomorrow asking like how long till daniel goes back in the mental hospital or gets arrested so look for that tomorrow more videos coming out this week i was going to be working mainly on a other project that i had as well as you know the other videos i usually do on stories and drama but since daniel has returned i'll be working on basically all that at the same time i do have a project in mind where i expose a youtuber that should be coming out at some point hopefully soon in the next few weeks and i do want to say again thank you all for 3,000 subscribers and the support and sorry that i was gone uh, but really though 3,000 subscribers is insane but in the end i'm part 30 and in conclusion is the perfect example of what zero pussy does to a motherfucker